Hey baby, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tony. This is the life of a plus size designer. And I was a little bit ashy, so I had to take care of that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, welcome back. Welcome back to another vlog, another week, another week of living and loving and laughing and all of that good shit. Hope all y'all did all that last week. And hopefully we do it again this week. But to this week is going to be basically a prep week because, uh, you know, I got some fabric shopping to do. I'm going on a little trip next week. So I got to get ready for that. Y'all look what I did to my nail. I just got these done too. Break the shit out of that motherfucker. Stop smoking it down to the roach. I mean, I mean, I be trying, but you know. I be trying, girl, but you know. I'm going to hit the J. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so right now, me and my bae are at lunch. Well, it's more like dinner because it's like 3.30. Excuse me, it's 3.56. And I told his ass to be ready at like 12.30. I've been ready since 12.30, baby. So, but actually this works out because then I won't have to eat dinner. I'll just save whatever I have. I have a very... um I was really, really craving some nachos. I want some grilled shrimp nachos. And that's nachos with grilled shrimp on it, bitch. Not, I want some nachos and I want me a margarita. But I want me one of those big drinks. I haven't had one of those in a long, long time. Like, I really want the Mexican feel. I want the big drinks. Bitch, they might could put a sombrero on me. It, depending on how the fuck I feel when I get in there, bitch. I don't know. So let's get in here and let's check it out. random as fuck but i'm on my way <laughs> i'm on my way to the goddamn fabric store and i see something that said britney spears i told y'all was random motherfucking britney spears britney spears husband filed for divorce first uh, it, it's a uh, first of all y'all motherfuckers leave britney alone Brit britney has been through enough Y'all bitches keep the daddy keep trying to take her money. The, the the sister needs some motherfucking help. Everybody's on Britney's back, child. And now she didn't marry this 29 year old Britney, 41. Britney, what you what was you thinking, girl? You you 41, he 29, girl. I'm not really sure what, what what that was all about, but now he wants spousal support and attorney fees. They only been married for 18 months. Sir. Get that dance bag I found you in with all your shit. Pack that dance bag up and get the fuck on. 18 months, you ain't even put no real time in for Britney. Y'all, it's hot. It's hot. You didn't put no motherfucking time in for Britney. 18 months, you deserve $600 and a Chipotle bowl, bitch. Leave Britney the fuck alone. Everybody just trying to take her money. She going crazy. She doing them dance routines, bitch, at the front door. Even the, the dogs be scared and shit and be looking at them crazy. Brittany, just leave Brittany alone, baby. Just leave Brittany alone. Let, uh, uh, little man, because you're 29. You're somebody's child. Little man, go ahead and pack that dance bag and get the fuck out of Brittany's life and leave her be. That's all I got to say on that. But poor Brittany, y'all. Somebody pay for, pray for Brittany. In the Lord's name, we pray for Miss Brittany. Y'all, look at this fool on the wrong side of the motherfucking street. Like, bitch, what's the plan? What? You on the wrong? You still on the wrong side of the street, baby? This is a one lane trap, y'all. Wait, what's finna? Oh, he about to turn up the wrong way. He about to turn up the wrong. Yes. Okay, so this is airport breakfast. This sandwich is actually pretty good. It's a bacon, egg, and cheese. 
came with tater tots and a coffee, but I got a water. It's We're just waiting on our um, Yeah, and, and it was only eleven dollars, so that was pretty reasonable. All right, we waiting on our flight. I'll check back in. If you haven't guessed, that's where we're going. That's where we are. And we've made it safely to Cancun. Um, we got to go through customs now. You know, you can't record in customs. So I'm going to um, hit y'all when we get in the van and shit and get with our other port. We got some other people coming too, so we got to get with our porty. So yeah. Uh oh, this is the. This is the. Uh, Airport fit. I'll show y'all later. This is my welcome to Cancun. This is called what? Yeah. This Mexican is water? Mexican water. Yeah. Mexican water. What's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Felipe. Welcome to Cancun. Visit Mexico. All right. You and that's Mexican this. water. You to try this every day. All right. <laughs> Mexican water. He said it's good for dancing, y'all. Right. This is our... This is our uh, transportation to and from the airport. It's super nice, y'all. That's into my own sleep shirt don't ask no questions bitch I got drunk in an hour I'm not really sure how that went down but y'all let me pull up a squat and talk to my friends real quick okay so y'all why is it always some hold on can y'all see me okay there we go okay so y'all why is it always some bullshit when I go somewhere okay so let me give y'all a little tea so far so good so far um child why we get here okay let's say that okay let's say we got here like four o'clock right girl why about four ten? we had a motherfucker call here and say oh you can't smoke or i we we got complaints that y'all was smoke okay blah, blah, blah. let me back up y'all know the drinks the sequence may not be sequencing for me I'm going to tell y'all. Okay. So, the bellhop comes and delivers our um, our luggage. We all outside. Um, we all outside. I'm going to just leave it like that. So, after he leaves, immediately after he leaves, somebody called the phone. Oh, we just wanted to let you know that you can't smoke out. You can't smoke in the rooms and this, this, and this. I'm like, we're not smoking in the rooms. Listen, 
I'm going to be clear. Wherever I go, even if it's a hotel in town, I never smoke in the rooms. That's a general universal rule. Nobody wants you smoking in the room. So I was like, we're not smoking in the room. What are you talking about? So she was like, yeah, we got some complaints that you were smoking in the room. Y'all, why my baby here already? Girl, already. I can't keep shit. I can't keep nothing nice, girl. Anyway, so she was like, yeah, we had some complaints that y'all were smoking in the room. And this is this. I'm like, we're not smoking in the room. What are you talking about? So she was like, well, they were saying that they smell cigarette smoke and yada, yada, yada. Like I said, it's a universal thing that you don't smoke in no hotel room that you go to. So, bitch, no, we're not smoking in the room. So she like, no, you can't smoke in the room. You can't smoke on the balcony. You can't smoke anywhere. And then the bitch tries to throw this little tidbit in. And marijuana is illegal in Karma Day Play. First of all, bitch, I didn't ask you what was illegal and what wasn't. That's number one. Number two, who said we had anything illegal? Number three, bitch, get out my business. Number four, girl, I'm about to hang up this phone. So then she starts saying, okay, so, okay, mom. My ponytail holding up, child. So then she tried to say, um, so then she was like, um, yeah, and we're going to, that bitch kept saying 250 USD, 250 USD. Like, bitch, we ain't talking pesos. You're not going to pay $20 for this motherfucking fine, bitch. You're going to pay 250 USD. So I was like, okay, but you keep saying, we, cause at this point we, we hadn't, we haven't smoked, we hadn't smoked anything. So. She was like, yeah, 250 USD. So I was like, why you keep saying that when I keep telling you we ain't smoking nothing? So what are you talking about? So then she was like, um, okay, so for this one time, I'll go ahead and suspend the fee. I said, why you keep saying this one time? I keep telling you we ain't smoked nothing. Then somebody, knock, as I'm on the phone with her, somebody knock on the door. Oh, we just wanted to let you know that there's no smoking on the premises and this, this, and this. You have to go outside the hotel to smoke, yada, 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 yada. I said, I'm going to tell you like I'm telling this this lady on the phone. Ain't nobody smoked nothing. Oh, we've been getting complaints. I said, complaints from who? Now, y'all, literally, we checked in at 2.30. No one, we are on the bottom floor because we have a pool attached to our room. Nobody, and I mean nobody, was on this floor when we arrived except for us and the people we came with. So two rooms was occupied when we came. Now, of course, I can't say that for sure, 100%, but when have y'all ever gone to a resort and the floor was completely quiet? Nobody is coming in and out of the rooms. You don't hear any activity inside the room. You don't hear kids jumping around. You don't hear people talking. You don't see nobody coming out, going to the pool. and There is nobody on this floor except for us. You only hear my room and the person next door to our room who is also with our party. Who the fuck complained, bitch? Ain't nobody complained. He thought he saw something that he didn't see when he came and dropped the motherfucking luggage off. That's what it's given. You thought we was outside smoking when we weren't. I ain't gonna say whether we was about to or not, but we definitely were not at the time when he arrived at the door. So, girl, it goes farther. So, after I got, I, I you know, I kind of went in on her. Like, uh, she was like, yeah, but if this continue and the next time. I was like, you keep saying next time and I keep telling you we haven't smoked anything. So, if people are complaining, how you know it's not the motherfuckers that comp that's complaining? That's like, I, whatever it is. Bitch, we ain't did shit yet. And you still keep talking about continue. Well, we're going to do this one time. I said, you're not going to charge us anything because we haven't smoked any motherfucking thing. So you keep trying to act like you're doing me a favor by not charging us the two fifty. You're not, baby, because we haven't smoked any motherfucking thing. So girl, it gets better. We all outside talking, trying to figure out what we about to go eat, or you know, you know, once you touch down, you be hungry, whatever. What little restaurant we gonna go to on the on the um on the hotel grounds or whatever, whatever. We look up and across the hall from us. It's two maintenance men on the roof, on the roof, y'all, pretending to mop, but looking at us to see if we smoke it. So now I'm uncomfortable. Now I'm ready to go. Because, bitch, what you're not going to do is you're not going to harass and police the fuck out of me all motherfucking weekend. That's what's not going down. Bitch, I already told you I'm not smoking. If you do find me smoking, then charge me the 250 But what you're not motherfucking going to do is continue to have people watching our room. And... 
You ain't finna do that. That man mopped that spot for 20 minutes. We, we put a timer, y'all. That man mopped that same spot. It was two men. Cross the, I'm going to show y'all where it's at. See that black spot right there on that roof? The two men was right there mopping the same motherfucking spot for 20 minutes. But he go to bumping pot. The bumping pot, bitch, is they was never looking down at the floor at the activity they was doing. They were looking over at us. So maybe that's why it's taking you 20 minutes to mop because, bitch, you're not paying attention to the job that you're at hand, bitch. You, you busy watching us. I said, I'm ready to go. I ain't for the fuck shit. All you got to do is tell me something one time. I'm going to respect your rules or I'm going to try to figure out how to bend them when you ain't going to know I'm bending them. But either way, nigga, I don't need a bitch policing me on vacation. This room costs way too much money for us to be having a, a motherfucker looking on the roof at what we're doing. And and not saying, okay, if y'all want to, you know, police your little property, whatever, whatever. But if I, you didn't catch us doing anything because we hadn't done anything yet. Why did you send a surveillance team, bitch? Like, what the fuck? So, girl. It's, it, it's starting rocky. It's starting off rocky. I'm just going to say that, girl. Y'all, so this street is lit. We, we came exploring. But look at this little cart right here. This motherfucker lit up about 50 people that went to this bitch. We going down there to see how it is. We not sure about what he got going on. Everybody trying to look at my niece's ass. So we're trying to make it down to the street safely. You want to see the place? Do you want to see the place, baby? Oh, no, I, don't, I do not like massages. Me either. They hurt me. Me too. What part of your body? Anywhere. My... Hey, Frida. They got a thing of Frida. Baby, they got the knock off ready for your purchase. Period. They got the knockoffs for your purchase. Right in the middle of nowhere. Period. They got all the shit you they need. Prada, Dior. They got the heart-shaped Chanel. That's 2023, baby. Check this shit out, y'all. This nigga can smoke weed, but we fucking can. Like, what the fuck's really good? Y'all got a whole mural of this nigga smoking weed. But we can't. I feel like it's a little conspiracy. And let me tell y'all what happened. Why are we just walking down the street being sued? Why this nigga gonna say, why the dude gonna say, hey, I seen y'all at the hotel. We was like, what? He was like, yeah, you said, come on down. Let me show you what I got in my store. So I said, nigga, we, what did you see us? We just got here 20 minutes ago. That man, he gonna say, um, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, just come to the store. We're not coming. We're not coming. <laughs> I'm sweating like a slave, but her titties is titty and y'all. She everybody. I'm excited. Everybody came together, including Jafar. I was like, fuck you.
was shy. shy. Took off and went straight to the top. Mm-hmm. Can't pay me, I think I'm too high. Uh-huh. You need to stop giving a lie. Uh-huh. You know we keep shit like the sky. Uh-huh. I know I'll be with before I die. Uh-huh. They won't respect you till you try. about to truck it down to the end of the parking lot to get the 7-Eleven. Yes, there's a 7-Eleven here. Um, so yeah, we about to just do that. We are starting our day today. We got a boat ride and some other shit, baby. So, yeah. Of course, I'm gonna take y'all along with me. Last night was a vibe, as y'all can see in the vlog. Oh, I'm shaking a lot for y'all. How about now? Last night was a vibe. They was hyping some motherfucker. They, you know, we had twerking was going on. It was a lot of shit going on. So yeah, that was cute. So let's see what we get into today. Maybe lots of fun. Y'all, yeah. are y'all, am I the only one to keep that scarf on until it's showtime? And then you bust out, especially with a ponytail and it's real humid here. So yeah, and it's raining, it's drizzling. And I'm not trying to take no chances, baby, on my ponytail. So yeah. Okay, let me get the 7-Eleven. I'm gonna show y'all the choices a Mexican 7-Eleven has. How about that? <laughs> Just a little red two piece oh, or whatever, oh. a little razzle tassel. These are so flat. Um, you know, and I feel like I look cute in them and just some clear slides. And I'm about to go to the beach. So, yeah. Let's go get something to eat first. Well, we're going to get something to eat first and then we're going to the beach because I ain't eat. If you Because we're headed to the beach. And my red shades. <laughs> and my winning personality. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so we're. At a place called Los Chaca Lockers, it was my, I think. It was all my and um, we're about to get tacos and all this type of stuff. I'm not sure. I ordered some nothing. She made us miss the boat. And she was the only person that didn't walk to this freaking store because it was raining hard. She, she's the one. Who, it was raining hard. Ma, I still got rain. She didn't do us a favor. Look at me. She made us miss the boat. She made us miss the boat, y'all. But this is the bumper part, like her child just said, we walked to the store, she sent the list to the store and laid in the bed. How, why was she the last one to get ready, ladies and gentlemen? She still wasn't ready, because she said, still had to get ready. She still had to do her makeup. What you say? <laughs> this is why she get beat up and bullied. This is why she get bullied on vacation, because of shit like this. You took this. That don't make no sense. Give us a taste test. Can you taste the beer? Mm, I taste everything. It tastes like a lemon beer? Yeah. Okay. But I mean, don't I you like put a lime in for fitting. <laughs> you paid all this goddamn money. Okay. This is Mexican chewing gum, she said. They got burgers. <laughs> he said, come on. He said, come on. <laughs> He said, come on. The police is a vibe out here, y'all. They a vibe. 
Here's today's fit. Let's go. My day ones and fuck the one. Oh, it's still day one. So it could be for y'all. Anyway, we're on the strip this morning. Just picking up snacks for the airport. My trip has come to a close. I am very happy to be going home. I love you, Mexico, but I got to go, baby. Um, it's some other shit that I'm going to do a story time about that I did not record, that I could not record. But I'm going to, you know, talk about it a little bit um, on a story time. So, yeah, this wraps things up. I'm headed to the airport now. It's about 8, 8, it's like 7.45. You're following me on all my social medias. It's in the description box, so bitch, give a like and all of that. Give a follow, all of that. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. I'm lying. I don't even be paying attention to that shit. But if I do pay attention to it, I definitely will follow you back, because, hello, we family. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll talk to y'all hoes, like, next week sometimes.